What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Twenty Dollar Chef. Today, I got my man Tony Baker. Should be entering any second. Oh, there he Here's is. A second What's now, up, man. Tony? What's up, bro? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yeah. One of the most funniest dudes on Instagram right here, Thanks, and in man. real life. Thanks, man. Listen, Tony, I knew you were coming over, so I went to let, let, get a little chicken. We'll give you some chicken tacos. Oh, I'm a, a vegetarian. Oh, you're a vegetarian? Yeah. Oh, man. I wish I could step outside of myself right now, look uh, at myself and say, I mean, you blew it, because I just blew it. You know what? You got to be ready. When you're inviting people over to eat, you got to know what they like and what they don't like. You can't be inviting a vegetarian over and then out offer them chicken. That ain't how that shit flies. So luckily today, Today, for you, I'm gonna I can calm my own nerves and I got both of us a nice little Labatt blue beer here. This is what I like. This is what I like to calm down with Tony sometimes, okay. you know? Yeah. I always have a backup plan. So All today, right. since I knew there's a possibility, I wasn't sure I made the right call with chicken. We're gonna go with roasted cauliflower okay. tacos. Okay. We're gonna roast them up. We're gonna throw a little cumin on there, some chili powder. We're gonna throw some garlic salt in there, a little uh, pepper. We're gonna make a nice little uh, Greek yogurt, but with an avocado Greek yogurt with cilantro. Okay. You know? We're trying to make this vegetable meal as Mexican as possible. You're an LA guy, you like Mexican food. Oh man, street tacos is a way of life. How long have you been a vegetarian for? I've been a vegetarian about two years now. Was yeah. the hardest thing giving up street tacos? Uh, yes, that was probably the hardest part. How's the tour? Two are looking, it's going great. All I see is sold out everywhere I look on, I see online. Man. Man, it's going good, man. Real comedians, social media. We uh, we did like uh, eighty something shows on this one. That's a lot of so, shows on the yeah. tour. Eighty-seven. That's a lot of people. So we're about over halfway halfway done. All right, and, and then just for that, you go to what? Kev on stage. Kevonstage.com to get the tickets, venue, city, and uh, we pulling up, man. By the way, if you want to learn how to be a real chef, uh, just hold a towel. I gotta have tell a towel. I tell everybody when they come on the show. Put it over the shoulder. There Ooh. it is. Now we're just gonna break this up. Cauliflower is one of them vegetables that a lot of people don't realize how good it is when it's roasted. Cauliflower like is low key white broccoli. <laughs> Broccoli's white cousin, man. <laughs> I don't even have to really cut this. I just like to break it up. This this is how it all started, the cooking. This is it right Everything, here. Everybody was just all hand work. There was no knives. It, they threw it into the fire. Their hands too. <laughs> they were just out here, everything by hand. Oh, you I mean, I can eat a cauliflower like this. If I'm at a party, I'm just dipping it in ranch. Ranch yeah. will cover up anything. Well, I think ranch is overrated. Yeah, why, why you say that? I don't know, it's just, it's overrated, man. People love it. They put it on everything, man. Ranch on the fries, the chip, oh, the tacos, the cereal. <laughs> I mean, you putting ranch pizza. on your cereals? Come on, man. A lot of people love it on the pizza, too. Man. I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. Might need to add more. But for now, I'm just going to put this in. We need these spices going. I always feel like more of a more of a cook when I, when I have to make shit move around. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. You know? All right, let's get some spices in there. Look like you know what you're doing. Now, man. Grab one of those over there. What the do you chili got there? Powder? I got yeah, the chili grab the chili powder. powder and get in there. I always do the little shake, the little wrist shake. You got good wrist action you know with the shake saying? there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Look like you really know the measurements by heart. You yep. know what I mean? And then boom. We adding this as well, or we yep, going to wait on the in. garlic. The garlic salt? Yep. All right, we pulling up, man. And you can't go overboard with the garlic salt. No, man. you can't. Just, just enough. Yeah, because that'll ruin everything. But man, it's garlicky. Vampires out here choking out. <laughs> Put a little regular salt and pepper in there. Oh, with the fingertip throw in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, we seasoned out here. That's it. We lave it up in the olive oil. See, I'm not good with the. Try it out. I, I will your skills. Ah, man. Ah, I'm nervous. I don't want to lose, right. lose seasoned cauliflower. Plus, you're a dad. You have two boys. You look, mm -hmm. you look, and you, you fit right in. Because you know, some dads, they cook, they drop food on the floor, they put it back in the mix. Yeah. They're like, it's still good, man. We got boys. <laughs> I already put our, uh, I got our, our oven at 425 degrees and I have to pan in there to get hot with it. Cause I want it to start hitting there, get a little, maybe get a little, you know, get so a little. you preheat uh, the pan. Yeah, I preheated okay. the pan on this one. Ooh, they already cooked. Yeah, hey, look at that little char maybe, Man. you know? We're gonna roast this for, uh, I'd say at least 10 minutes at 425. Then we're gonna come in, mix it up a little bit, we'll turn them around, put it in for another 10. And then in the meantime, we're gonna get it in over here with the sauce. Boom. All right. Let's get this bowl over here going. We got a little uh, little cabbage here. Honeys love color, Tony, so that's what we're doing. We gotta have to make sure that if this is a meal that someone busts out for their lady, that it's colorful. Mm-hmm. That's a quality color, too. A young purple. Yeah. Cut a little cilantro up, put it uh, here with it. Let me tell you something, man. Cilantro is one of my favorite things in life. You know, and you'd be surprised how many people just don't like oh, it. Oh, man. They they say it I tastes like cilantro. I have a hard time hanging out with someone that told me they hate cilantro. Who? How can you, man? I thought about changing my name to cilantro, man. That was going to be my rap name. Cilantro? Cilantro, yeah. Sometimes you get confused with, uh, what's that other one? Parsley? Parsley. Every once in a while, they're so close, sometimes but I grab man, them Man, they real put quick. them right next to each other in the store. I'm like, why would you do this? Man, I came home with parsley one time. My oh. girl was like, you got parsley. I was like, ah. That, you can't just substitute parsley in for cilantro. Nah, once I made that mistake, I left town that day. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just go to the airport. 
There it is. Yeah. Look at that nice little mix here. Mm -hmm. This will be right on top of our little tacos. I gotta step my cookware up, man. You know, you also need a couple of useless tricks, too. That's mm. always good, you know what I mean? Oh, the juggling? You gotta, you know, I got useless tricks. With a lazy eye, that's uh, even harder than it should, that's harder than it should be. Man. People don't realize, they don't get it. Do people send you things, because I mean, I've even caught myself being mm. that guy to you. Yeah. The first thing I do is I see a, a hilarious video of animals doing some shit. Yeah. Let me go on out here and get my little day started, you know what I'm saying? Let me just open this for a little leverage and just, oh, shit, Lord, Jesus. The fan in me was like, oh, I got to tag Tony on this uh -huh. or something. It's daily, man. It's daily. My DMs are jam-packed, man. Do you do right it all there. on your phone? Yep, all on my phone. All on your phone? All on the phone. If you, if you, I mean, if you're not one of the 900,000 people follow this, man, you got to follow it right here. Here's his uh, IG. Just sit out on the toilet while you're doing your business and just <laughs> go. All right, I put a little lime in there. Put a little lime, dash of salt. Lime too, man. Yeah, that's going to be key. That's going to oh, bring this all together. man. Not only this, but we're also going to have ourselves avocado yogurt sauce. Okay. So that's going to be good for now. Man, that's mad colorful to get the purple and green together, man. We're going to throw this in the refrigerator, let it just chill out. Uh, you pop that open. Okay. Man, let me tell you something. Before I went like almost vegan, I used to love yogurt. The yo play, the Dan and yeah. the man, I used to go in. We got two avocados. Well, avocados are popular, man. I like to just grab a half an avocado, mash it up with a spoon, a little salt and pepper, and just mm. eat it. Okay. It already comes in a cup. Yeah, it's already ready. Boom, the scoop out. Yeah, obviously, you have that, you're on that show, Roast Me on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Y'all give it up for Tony Baker, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Hey, Tony looked like he retired from a chemical plant. <laughs> <laughs> you look like he was a head safety inspector. We gotta get them fires out. <laughs> Do a lot of people just want to come at like let's say after shows? Obviously in a fun way. Do they enjoy just trying to uh, get to try to roast you? Who the people on the show? Yeah, or just no, like no, regular people, people like on regular the people. They, do they ever no, ask they you? Really, they don't really uh, come at me for the roast. But now nah, it's very rare. Like some of the main roasters, like Craig and them, they'll they'll come up and you know try to roast like to hear and like those those guys. But everybody's really too scared to go off the top of the skull. People yeah. are a little bit scared about that. They it's want to hard, sit around man. right. It's a science to it. Yeah, for sure. All right, mash this all up. Mm -hmm. I should have some kind of better tool to mash up avocado than a spoon. Avocado. Remember that commercial? Avocados from Mexico. From I Mexico. Sing, I always yeah. sing that, man. Now I would, I would look for that guy to be at my wedding. I just want to hang out with him. That's what you want as like a, you know, an advertisement. You want something that to stick with people. Cause I haven't heard it in years, but I still, still think always about go it. to it. That's like me, like. I almost blew it today. Well, At least I came through. I saw a little some bad blue to share with you. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you did, man. The recovery. It's all about the recovery in life. You know what I'm tacos and beer. Whether it's meat or vegetables, tacos and beer man. are always going to work together. This is the part that's really going to set these tacos off. I'm going to let you uh, get a couple of big spoons of, okay. of that in there and you can mix Boom. it together. Boom. In the meantime, I'm going to um, adjust these around so they fully get roasted, you know? All right, there we go. All right, Scratch I'm gonna do another 14 mix. minutes over there. How's it coming along over there? Good, man, you know what I'm saying? Got the yogurt going in here. I'm gonna um, throw some more cilantro in there too. Yeah, man. If I ever do porn, I'm coming back. <laughs> cilantro is gonna be my name. I'm gonna have a green <laughs> ski mask on, just putting in work. You can throw that in there if you okay. like. Okay, we're gonna squeeze it in. Yup. Now obviously it's a $20 chef, Tony. So most of the time we stay under the budget, sometimes we get wild, but this meal is definitely under the budget. Okay, huh? how you know, much? Tortillas were a couple of bucks. Mm -hmm. Avocados like three bucks for two of them. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower and the cabbage were like four bucks each. Okay. You know, so, and the yogurt was a few bucks. You know, obviously this would, you know, we're, we're, keep, we're trying to keep it under budget here. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because you play a villain yeah. and uh, he never he never asked for money. Nah, he it's never weird. He's all about the contaminating the water supply, man. The water supply comes from one of two places. The ground or the surface. You know, villains in movies and TV, they never, they always got to reveal the whole plan to the hero. They got the hero tied up at gunpoint, but then they say, oh. We ain't talking now. Yeah, what's up? Like a bossy ain't talking. Oh, they always talk. Even dummies. He got secrets. So I created the villain based on that, like, because in real life, you're just going to get shot in the head. Yeah. All right, we'll put that in the refrigerator too to settle up a little bit. Looks like our cauliflower are done. Okay. Yeah. We're going to pull these out. Let them cool off for a sec. Looks like our season is on there nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're drinking delicious beer. We're eating delicious, healthy, vegetarian cauliflower tacos. About right. to get these tortillas going here. Corn tortillas, Now, like, you're originally from Chicago? I'm originally from Chicago, yeah. But you've been in LA for a while. I've been in LA since 2006. So that's plenty enough time that you, you've you probably come to love tortillas on, on a oh, level. Man, even before that, like when my mom used to make tacos when I was a kid, the corn tortilla joints. No disrespect to the flour. Yeah, this is corn right here. But the corn tortillas, man. Ah, I love them. You like corn better than flour? 
Yeah, I do. There's, a, there's, a, there's a Cold War going on between <laughs> corn and flour tortillas, man. It is wild. They've lived together so so close for mm. so long, and it really hasn't erupted to where yeah. one took over. Right. This is like a silent, you know, beef. But I will say this, though. Flour tortillas for a breakfast burrito. A good, nice flour. Like a, a, one of those homemade flour tortillas yeah. with the nice spots oh, on them. man. That's a good time right there. Hoof. Doing it all. I do the same thing, man. Like, I, I will burn my fingertips. It's almost like nice Working to suffer. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to get a utensil every time, man. All right, here we go, coming in hot. My fingerprints are gone. You think I was in the Mission Impossible movie with your fingertips. Scoop it on. Mm -hmm. Boom. There we go, there's one. Mm -hmm. Little lime juice. Look at that, man. Oh, the lime. Get that going, the avocado sauce. As my girl would say, sauce. Your girl's from New York? Yeah, she's from Brooklyn. It'll come in here. I don't want to be touching all your food. Boom. That's a good time. Right I always there. find that a little bit of this is always needed, just on top there. Mm -hmm. We'll put some lime in here just for fun. Mm -hmm. If we, yeah, visually, you just you take a glance at that, That's it looks like chicken. It does. Like when you walk in, oh, and then surprise. And there it is. Look at that. We're eating vegetarian lifestyle right there. A little Labatt Blue, a little cauliflower taco. All right, Tony, time for the best part. Boom. A little ca roasted cauliflower, vegetable tacos. Hey, Tony, thanks for coming on, man. Uh -huh. You're the best. Mm-hmm. Good subtle sauce. You're getting the consistency of a meat with the cauliflower. Man, the sauce, man, with the with the lime. Mm. Tony Baker comedy across the board. Mm -hmm. Follow this man if you don't already. It's hilarious. I already know you know. We walked two blocks in the street and he got pulled over nine times for pictures. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming on my show. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. that's this episode of Twenty Dollar Chef. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.